What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I am so excited to be able to share with you some home decor pieces from Ikea. Many of you know I have done a few videos on my beauty room makeover and I feel like every day I am changing something and moving something around to make the most out of my space. So I decided the last and final furniture piece that I needed was a shoe rack and I decided that I found one that I wanted to put together myself from Ikea. So my love lovely husband took me there and we found it we put it together and I am telling you it is the best shoe shelf you have ever seen it is luxe beautiful glamorous and super inexpensive so while I was there I also took the time to do some digging and in addition to my favorite shades ever I found an amazing dupe for a Roman shade so I am going to show you guys not only this amazing dupe for a Roman shade but I'm going to show you how you can DIY it to look super expensive and it only cost a quarter of what I paid for a different Roman shade so if you guys are interested in seeing this Ikea haul of all things amazing for your home then just keep watching
ones will come with. So in order to keep that up, I'm going to show you, if I can stay up here. I'm also going to show you how we attached this. So this, any blind will come with this. And then these are the blinds. You take the metal prongs that are attached to this and you tuck them down in. And that is how that is on there. And I'll insert a picture so you can see what that looks like. So I think there's two, one on that end, one on this thing. You just tuck them down in. It feels very secure and good to go. And now is the easy part where we just attach the board back up here so it has a nice clean look. So on any of these banisters, as you can see, it comes with these little clips. And these clips, as you can see here, will just go over top of that. So very simple and easy. Exactly what I'm talking about. These clips just clip right onto the top of that. And then as you can see, this actual little piece comes with these plastic clips. And I just clip them over top of this actual banister. So we are able to not only leave the blinds, but now we are able to have our own little baby corner board because we can keep this piece over top. Now, as far as closing options, this is extremely long. I think it's like 63 inches long. So normally this would go all the way up here, but I think that's too high. So I'm just gonna bring it up halfway and then just give it a stitch right at the corners and then we'll be able to leave it just like this. Leave our blinds there, leave our blinds open, leave our blinds closed, whatever it is, but that way it'll stay just like that. And now we are left with this adorable Roman shade that is super inexpensive and easy. And now we can also, like the best part, is that we get to keep our blind. So of course, if you wanted to adjust this even more than you could, you could bring that um, level up one if you wanted to, to give it that really fluttery look, which I might do and show you, or just leave it like that. I'm not really sure yet. I'm gonna play with it, but the best part is that you can leave the blinds underneath, which are not cheap. So it's nice to be able to have that, as well as the extra privacy because this is a little bit thinner in texture. So you don't want it to be see-through. You could also do a custom wood banister if you wanted it for some more height up top, or you could actually, they say, insert a rod to the top of the um, Roman shade too and just kind of have it as a curtain. But I like the clean look at the top. So it's like I actually went ahead and tacked up this third layer so it really has that kind of fluttery Roman shade look. So again, if you want to leave it like that, you can. If you want to leave it down one, you can. I just wanted to kind of show you the different ways it looks and it's so easy to take down. You just snip the ends that you've knotted with a thread and the needle. And <laughs>